All right. What's your favorite album you have done out of all the albums you've worked on, mixtapes? Um, I would say my favorite has been my favorite album of mine. I would have to say is my Georgia Peach album. And my favorite mixtape, I've done so many, but my favorite is, is um, Boss Chick Music Volume 1 and 2. All right, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, we're going to get into your Pretty pretty Boy Swag remix. <laughs> okay, just a let's couple do of that. Minutes. You want to you wanna get into that right now? Yeah, we're going to take some phone calls. Let me get that special call-in number. All right, it's 347. Where's the call-in number at? What's the call-in number? 347. <laughs> Hot mess. People call in 903-5067 and I tweeted it last. You can also hit me up at Twitter and hit Rashida up on Twitter at Rashida G.A. Peach. The G.A. Yep, Peach. that's right. At Rashida G.A. Peach. All right, cool. And here's the Boss Chick. Boss Chick music is right here on WSJU The Voice. Keep it locked right here. All right, all right, yes, that was Boss Chick Swag. That was the one and only Rashida, the Georgia Peach. And she still joins yeah. me right now. What's good? We're here, we're here. Hold it down. Yeah, don't mind the crowd. The crowd is a little crazy right now. They get excited at times like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you're doing a lot of big things. You're, you're very involved with a lot of things from your music, right, to the behind-the-scenes stuff. Right. All right, how does being an independent artist strengthen yourself, your music, your career? How do you feel that works in your in your favor? Um, you know, being an independent artist has its perks and it also has its downsides. I mean, you know, the music industry is extremely competitive. It's really, really difficult. It could be an extremely lucrative business if you know what you're doing. I think the best thing about where I'm at right now is being able to learn from so many mistakes and being able to learn from being with a major and seeing different things and knowing how I want to take my career and, and what I want to do because at the end of the day when you sacrifice so much you want to leave some type of legacy whether it's, it's, it's you know substantial or you know however you leave your mark you want to leave something the non-beneficial parts is you know financially it's 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 hard you know it takes a lot of money to promote an artist especially a female artist um the good thing about it is i'm able to be in that you know i'm partners with d -Lo and i'm independent you make money off of every record sale so it's like you know i go and sell you know say 50,000 units that's 500 grand on just those units and that doesn't include like ringtones and singles and anything like that and the fact that I have my publishing and I've had songs in movies like Mall Cop and shows like CSI Miami and Lincoln Heights and United States of Terror and I have one of my singles from my last album coming up on the Disney game Tap Tap Revenge on December 20th those type of things right there make it worth being independent because you may not be big and mainstream, but you making money in places where a lot of big mainstream artists won't never see no money. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to know. Yeah, keep doing your own thing. So you're keeping right. money that the record label doesn't have to have or like be distributed elsewhere. Say that one more time. So you basically get to keep money that doesn't have to be distributed elsewhere like the record label. Well, see, what happens is, like, when artists, when an artist is on a major deal, when you see these videos and you see them traveling and you see them doing all these type of things, there's a budget. And what happens is you have to, if you go and you sell 350,000 records, well, you have to pay the record company back and they have to recoup all their money before you would even see any money off an album. There's probably as many artists as we can count on our hands who's ever really seen money from their actual sales because the record company's constantly dishing out money to fly you and your clique and take you to your shows and shoot your videos and do everything that they're doing. When you're independent, then, you know, I, I'm a part of the record company. So when I sell and do what I do and you got an album that's nine ninety nine, and the, the person who distributed it is getting 20 or 30 percent, then you're getting all the rest of the money every single month. I see. So that's just a, a, a quick summary on how to break it down. 
And then on the publishing aspect of things, when you put a song on like a, a big movie called like Mall Cop, that's a number one movie and is on HBO and all those now and about to hit television. When when Sony Pictures come at you and say, hey, we want to put this song in a movie. We want to license it from you. Here's 150 grand. Then then in perpetuity after five years you'll get another 75,000 and then every time this movie's on you get paid every single time you get that on the music side for as far as the record company and you get that publishing money every quarter wow that's big business right there so it's big business <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what's up yeah keep busy like i think everybody should stay busy doing whatever they're doing you know you just get better at it and you'll make more money yeah, I mean, people got to understand you have to make mistakes. Sometimes you have to fall on your face in order to, to learn a lot, you know, to for a lot. Of, if you ask somebody like Diddy or 50, in order to be successful, you got to damn near almost fail in, a, in certain places in order to succeed. So it takes a lot and it, it takes years. You have to practice patience in this industry. And that's something that I, you know, that I've definitely done. And I got to take in consideration that every year my fan base has grown. And, you know, this is real music coming from a chick who who be in these streets and go to different cities and different hoods and, you know, get out here and really grind and make a and make a way. I'm not a part of a clique. So everything I'm doing and every fan that I'm gaining, I take that in as such a big blessing because, it's, you know, I'm just a being out here, a woman out here just trying to empower and do this like it needs to be done. So it's a blessing that I'm able to get up every day and do what I love and have so many fans. I feel you on that. Do you think it also has something to do with, like, the artist's budget, like whoever they're working with, such as Nicki Minaj, for example. She has such a big click behind her, pushing her. So, like, it's kind of not to hear her music or, like, see her pop up all over the place? Well, most definitely because she she has, first of all, one of the biggest male rappers in hip-hop behind her. And not to mention she has universal records behind her as well. So, you know, you, you got to take that in consideration. I mean, she is a part of a clique that has more than one superstar in the clique. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got Drake, you got Wayne, and you got great backup and, and, and stuff like that. So, of course, um, you know, the record company can come. They can put a budget behind a record that, you know, a, a, a Nicki record, a big, and spend a lot of money on that and, and constantly push it out there and push it. I mean, not to take nothing from Nicki. People love her, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's like, you know, you, you get out here and, and she did what she needed to do. She got with that click and she didn't just say, okay, I'm going to do some half-ass work. She came out here and really, you know, made a name for herself and doing her thing. And I'm I'm very anxious to see what she does from years to come. Yeah, we I think we all are musically and just like period. But you got to yeah. check out my vlog though. I have a performance of her like she ran out of breath during right through me, like hilarious. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't stop talking about it. But <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. <laughs> All right, now you were a part of a Michael Antonio photo shoot mm -hmm. with also a lot of other big names like Little Kim, Trina, and Lola Monroe. Yeah. You're actually cool with Lola Monroe, right? Yep. Cool. How was that photo shoot and what was exactly the cause? What were you guys promoting? We were actually promoting um, a, a designer by the name of SB Shades, and um, he's amazing he does sunglasses and people always comment on the sunglasses that i wear in most of my videos and i get those from at sb shades his name is stevie boy and um we were all promoting his line and he called off called all his his girls females and hip-hop and all of us actually i uh, i met kim me and trina just did a record that's on um boss chick music volume two and me and gangsta boo worked together of course lola's been on the uh, was on my last mixtape with the bedrock remix we did so, you know, for all of us to come together and do that and then, you know, they put the whole collage together, it's a really good look for, for you know, for females in hip-hop and just for, for women, period, to show that all of us come together and just, you know, did that. So, it's a good look. Yeah, it's a good look, but her look, Lil' Kim's look, is forever lasting changing. Yeah, definitely. I hope I, hope I said that correct. You did. <laughs> <laughs> forever changing is, is good. Yeah. I think the swelling is just going down over the years. But yeah, let's talk about... All right, you're going to be featured on Tap Tap Revenge. That's the app. I actually have that application on my iPod Yay! and iPhone. Yes, I am. They're actually putting um, a single of mine called Let It Go on there um, December 20th. 
it'll be um, playing on there. So I'm excited about that. It's a good look, and, you know, it's going to be fun to, you know, turn one of my favorite video games on and one of my songs actually on there. I think Katy Perry has an app. So I'm working on um, also just trying to do some more stuff with them as well. So I think it's going to be a good look. Yeah, she does. I think I've seen that app, like, in the menu. But, yeah, everybody should download that application so they could play with your single, Let It Go. Yes, play with it, see if you can um, get a high score with the way the tempo of the music is going and, you know, see if you can keep up. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, I know I'm going to keep a lock for that. And we have another studio guest. He has a question for you, DJ Trouble. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up? What's up, Rashid? What's up? Hey. How, how are you, you doing? I'm good. Yeah. All right. It's good. Uh, I want to know first of all when you coming up here to come do something so we could check you out live and get this promotion going. Yeah, we need to. You guys are in New York, right? Yeah, we up in New. Well, we 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 up in New York, but we represent all the way from Philly up through to New York. No, we represent all over because I have listeners. Yeah, we got listeners know. in Cali. We got <laughs> listeners everywhere. So shout out to That's Kansas. We got so, Kansas I mean, tuned in right now. I mean, in person we're here. You know what I mean? So when you right. coming up here to do something so we could get something popping? Because I actually I'm a huge fan of your material. I'm originally from Florida, so I've been oh, checking okay. you That's out fun. for years. So Thank I think you. it's I think it'd be a good look for people to really open up their eyes because being that you're an independent artist, a lot of times they some people just tend to shut their ears off when they're not from the area but i right. i like all your music so Thank when you. you coming up here to do something um i don't have new york specifically on my schedule yet i'll be in virginia on the 12th of december i'll be shout out to kansas i'll be in kansas What's on um, december 4th all right so um shout out to y'all and oklahoma city i'll be in oklahoma city on december 3rd um but i'm making my way up there I, you, you know you got to tell them promoters yo we need to boss chick in the building i mean i know you know we got a lot of stuff going on but y'all need to get some sweet georgia peaches up here real. Well, so. <laughs> let's bring yeah, georgia like to up here. Tell them to bring me on up yeah. and it's all good <laughs> yeah now that video that you shot with the remix with you and candy all them how was that because the chemistry on that video was nice so how Thank was working you. on that um, you know what? I was um that was on my um Boss Chick Music Volume One mixtape yeah, and I was volume. um finishing up some like last remixes that I wanted to put on there and I was like, you know what? I like the Bed Rock record. Let me remix that. So I said, Let me call Candy because I wanted Candy to do the hook of course. Uh -huh. And then um I reached out to Lola. I had did something on her um one of her mixtapes and okay. I was like, Well let me call Lola and get her on here. Then I called Diamond. Then, you know, Toya Carter had been um, you know, talking about rapping and she's a friend of mine and we had been kinda hanging out and stuff and she had been talking about rapping and I was like, You know what? You ain't finna keep talking about it, you gonna be about it. Yeah. So come on and get on this remix and once um I got everybody's verses and we finished it and I was listening to it I was mixing it and putting it down I was like okay I want to shoot a video to this and one day I was riding in the car and the whole concept of the whole video just kind of came to me and um, I called my people who I do the videos with and they added a few tweaks and we and we you know set up the day where everybody could be together and made it happen and when I tell you we had a ball that's how it we looked. had so much just fun. looking at the video the whole chemistry was it was it was nice it was real nice yeah, I enjoyed we it. had so much fun doing it and and those are my girls and I appreciate you know everybody being a part of it and it's over like a million and something views now on yeah YouTube. it is it's a really good look so. uh-huh that's what's up that's the video when you was getting out the escalade or the black jeep oh getting out the yeah, green they're, they're all getting out, out the yeah. Green oh, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 must be the weather but yeah where are you at right now like what city are you in? i'm in atlanta now okay so yeah, do you have a show tonight now, so. like what's going on i don't have a show tonight i'm actually starting on my new album so i'll be in the studio until friday and that's when i go to um friday i think i go to oklahoma and then saturday i'll be in kansas city i just got back from um shout out to akron ohio i oh, just yeah? came back from akron and they were bananas the club was crazy so big shout out to ohio um columbus and akron i was just in both cities so all right that's what's up so on this new album what, what we got to look forward to tell us a little about some of your future collaborations that we might get on this album and promote i mean producers that you're looking to work with what, what you got going on on this one man this album and it's funny because i've i'm track listening to right now and i um i'm definitely gonna put the access denied track that trina and i did on there and the first single is batter featuring toya carter and jasper um collaboration wise um 
honestly, it's not my main, main focus. Right now, I'm just really gearing up on, um, you know, setting it off. Like, doing something really, really fly on this album. Keeping it Rashida, but definitely stepping up musically, lyrically. And um, I just want people to, to know me. 